Hello, my name is Vegas. I'm your low elo coach. Welcome back to another look at Evelyn. You guys love the last guide on Evelyn so much, and you provided so much useful feedback for me, and a lot of useful um, questions that um, I'll be hoping to address some in this video here. It's it's really impossible to, to cover every aspect of a champion in just one game. And a lot of uh, the questions you guys were asking were either related to runes or items. You're like, why are you picking this rune? Uh, shouldn't this one be better? Or why did you build Night Harvester when Rocket Belt is clearly the best Evelyn item? Um, the truth is, it depends on the game. It depends on the game, the situation, yourself as a player. Uh, you shouldn't be building the same item every game, and there isn't one um, like one size fits all for in terms of items for Evelyn or any or really any champion in League of Legends. I think that's the beauty of the item system in League of Legends, as well as runes, is you can play in so many different ways. You can build so many different things. Um, you shouldn't you shouldn't be just building the exact same thing on autopilot every single game. It really depends on each game. So today we're gonna just go with the default skin. You know, it's been a while since I've seen the default skin, and she is beautiful just the way she is. And we're going to take a quick look at our runes. We're going to go Electrocute, and this time, instead of the Taste of Blood, I'm going to go with Sudden Impact, just for that extra magic penetration when we leave our stealth. Taste of Blood might be good for um, early game, but our passive is so strong in the late game, maybe we, we don't really need that extra healing. So we're going to try Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, of course. And then for the secondary tree, Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm for that insane scaling and extra damage. Now it looks like we're up against a very squishy team here. We've got a Quinn, a Lucian, Velkoz, and Zerath. Um, looks like the last one to pick is the top laner, I believe. Or maybe the jungle. Looks like Quinn might be top lane here. We'll see in a moment, but this is already looking good for us. We're up against a squishy team. We have a very nice team comp. Not too much AP, not too much AD. Got a couple tanks in there. We have a very strong team comp compared to theirs, I, I feel. So this is looks like we're up against a Fiddle Six jungle. They have an extremely squishy T. Uh, more on the heavy AP side, but they still have two strong AD champions. And so today we're going to focus on what items should we be building. But just like in the last game, we're going to start with our Q. We're going to grab our Scorch Claw Pup. And I'm not going to buy a potion. I'm going to save that 50 gold. So many joyful people to hurt. As soon as the 15 second mark hits, we want to be in the game, running to our jungle. Because we, if, you, if you're waiting in the fountain, you never know if the enemy comes and invades. You have, like, As soon as that um, 15 seconds starts, you want to be out here, seeing what's going on. We can see Fiddle Six is top right now, watching his jungle. I probably placed my ward a little early, I could have waited another 15-20 seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead and back get my sweeper. To so why did I recommend Night Harvester um, over Rocket Belt? Well, I believe that Rocket Belt is a harder item to use. Um, firstly, because it's an active item. It, an active item is like having an extra ability, and when I first started playing, I never used my active items. Like these guys are focused for newer players, uh, new, like not just new to the game, but also new to Evelyn. And you know, when you're getting used to just the regular abilities, it can be really hard to add like um, an extra item, active item ability in there as well. But today we are going to focus on Rocket Bow. It's an item I've used a lot on other champions, but not so much Evelyn. So for our jungle player here. We'll start with red buff, gonna go to Krugs and then Raptors. We want to clear as much as we can. I'm gonna start dragging it towards our Krugs. Make sure not to pull it out too far. You can start pulling it out now because you can kill it before it resets. I'm gonna get E second. I'm gonna smite our uh, big Krug. I'm gonna order the little Krug because I want to destroy both of these Krugs at the same time to clear it as quick as I can. There we go, almost at the same time. And then I can just walk away in queue. Evelyn's one of the fastest jungle clearers. Once you get the hang of clearing her jungle camps, you're going to be so much, so much more ahead of like the other jungler, depending on who they've chosen. So we're going to look at mid lane. 
Zaravus under his turret, we can't gank. I already saw that from the mini map, but just to like show you guys, when you're clearing your camps, you just you don't want to be looking at just you. You want to be looking at the map, see like what's going on in the top lane. It looks like Nasus is under turret, meaning the top laner Okay, he just placed the ward, it seems like. But it, we can also still try and gank her. Just because she's placed the ward doesn't mean she's ungankable. We have our sweeper. Now I think I think I'm gonna do both of these camps and get to level 4 here before I gank. Use my smite on the blue. Right, I'm gonna start charming before I even finish my my blue buff. Just to save that extra bit of time. Now we're looking a little low, but our passive is going to heal us up as well as the red buff when we start walking to the top lane to gank. The only thing we have to watch out for is fiddlesticks. I'm not going to pop the plant. Unfortunately, fiddlesticks just popped the plant there. He knows exactly where we are. If we go to the top lane, he's going to come get us. So it looks like it's going to be a fight for the scuttle here. Unfortunately, I don't have my smite. What I'm going to do is just go to the top lane anyway. He can have the scuttle, but we're going to go gank top. So we already got her flash, and we hit the charm anyway. And she should be she should be dead here. We're going to use our flash just to be safe. And then see, Fiddle Six is in the mid lane. He just did the scuttle. While he was doing the scuttle, we got a kill. And now we can, well, I mean, an, an assist. But it's important to keep an eye on what, like, um, your enemy jungler is doing. So I'm actually going to go and get a Dark Seal. You know I love to get the Dark Seal. If you're not as confident as um, on Evelyn, maybe skip the Dark Seal. And we're going to start building into Rocket Belt here. So I'm just going to get an Amplifying term, and I have enough of Boots. So, you know, buy what you can. Buy what you can. If you have extra gold, maybe buy a control ward. But look, our Krogs are back up, our Raptors are already back up. We want to clear that jungle as quick as possible. It's like our mid laner just died, unfortunately. We might also be able to gank bot lane. Right now we just see Velkos, we don't know where Lucian is. I kind of want to hang on to my smite, see if we can use it to uh, contest Dragon, because we don't know where bot lane is. I think Fiddle Six is in the bottom river. I'm actually going to use my sweeper here. See if there's any vision. Okay, he's not on dragon. He did take the scuttle. But we don't have to worry about that. Like, why didn't I go, and go for dragon there? They've got the scuttle. They would have seen me if I went for it. Evelyn is good at taking dragons solo. She takes them down fairly quickly. But again, you always want like, our Siva just died. That would have been a horrible time to start dragon when one of our bot lane is dead. So it looks like we're gonna go and try and gank top here again, because Quinn seems to be pushing in. You see she's building up a large minion wave. Looks like she's gone she just placed another ward, but we we have our sweeper in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds we have our sweeper, by the time we finish Gromp that should be up, and we're closing in on level 6 already. I'm gonna go ahead and use a smite. It's like bot lane's asking for help, but we're, we're on the other side of the map, and top is already ahead by one kill, so we want to help our top lane as much as possible here. So unfortunately, our sweeper isn't quite up. But we got the... We got the blast cone, and look, we're already behind her. Come on, touch me. Uh, oh, we did hit the charm. Oh, look, she's dead. She's dead again, just like that. If you get behind someone in a gank of Zevlin, it's game over because they cannot escape your charm. Again, we're gonna back, get our hexsec alternator. I was hoping I had enough for the Blasting Wand, that's a little unfortunate. But instead I'm going to buy two Control Wards. We go, we got one stack on the Dark Seal. Again, you, you do want to be getting kills as Evelyn. 
you want to snowball as much as you can, but two assists at seven minutes is, well, before we we're even level six is fantastic, really. Onassis is now two kills ahead in a matchup he would normally be very weak against. What's happening here? Okay. Alright, as soon as we hit level six off here, we want to go for a gank look for a kill. Because when we have our ult, we always want to be looking for a kill. It looks like bot lane is perfect to um, go and look for a kill on. There we go. Boom! Beautiful. Beautiful double kill. The Lucian was already like low enough to be executed, and the Velkos couldn't escape the charm. We didn't want to charm him as soon as he got in range. We waited until he's a little closer, but not so close he could see us. That way, we we have a little more time to close the gap. And we just got two kills off of one ult. That's fantastic value. Five stacks in the Dark Seal already. We're gonna go back to clearing our jungle since all of it is up. And by the time we back, we might have enough for our full item. If we get maybe another gank in the top lane. So even though we did just kill the bot lane, that doesn't mean our bot lane's any further ahead. So those two kills helped us. They didn't really help our bot lane, though. Whereas Nasus is already a lot stronger than the Quinn because he has two kills, while she she's just got two deaths. As a jungler, you always want to play around your strong lanes. You're like your weak lane, like your one of your lanes might be dying over and over, and they might be begging for help. Like, why aren't you helping me? Come gank. If they're already too far behind, you don't want to try and help them. You want to instead help your stronger lanes um, out by repeatedly gank ganking them. Okay, we don't know where Quinn is. But I'm hoping she shows up in a second here. Because that would be, be another free kill. Hey, Fiddlesticks is heading to his top side. I've got my ult up, so I want to be looking for a kill. I think I'm going to try and catch him in his jungle. Oh, he's just spotted us with the Blast Cone plant. I mean, the... I forgot what it's called, but the Vision plant. So instead, we're going to try and take Scuttle. Place a ward in this bush. It's okay, we've got our ult to escape here, as well as our flash. And just like that, we're, we, we're out. Nasus is coming to help, so we're actually going to head back. Our passive's going to heal us up. Going to charm the fiddle. Unfortunately, Zeref is also here. That was very unfortunate. Maybe I should have gone for the Quinn to kill the Quinn first. The Zeref also saw the fight going on, but Nasus looks like he's so far ahead, he can just 1v3 at this point. So we don't have quite enough gold to get our item, unfortunately. I might actually... could I could sell the since I died, I could sell the Dark Seal and buy the item. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I can wait for the 20 gold or sell my, sell my control ward, I'm going to keep it. But since I died, you know, better, as good a time as any to sell the Dark Seal. And we have our, our first item just like that. Now the strength of Rocket Bell. Um, it gives you that extra gap closer to try and pop your charm. Like, if you're having trouble hitting your charms against, like, let's say the enemy team has a lot of dashes or they're very quick, Rocket Belt is fantastic to close the gap. But one of the weaknesses, obviously, is it's like an active item. You have to remember to use it. You have to be accurate with it. It's not, um, like a point and click. You have to, like, aim it. Alright, dragon's coming up here in 25 seconds. I'm going to clear this and look to try and secure this dragon. Since we do need some objectives. Mid lane's going to need to back here. Maybe we might be able to gank mid if their mid laner stays. You need to be looking at, at the map at all times as a jungler. See what's going on. Where can you get a kill? We have our ult up. We have our rocket belt up. Unfortunately, we ke we ke keep getting hit by the vision plants. They know where we are at all times. 
So it looks like we're not going to be able to contest this dragon just because there's four of them ar around this area and Quinn's coming down as well. Maybe we go for Rift Herald instead. I think that's the play, honestly. While they're taking dragon, we'll go to Rift Herald. Especially since our top laner is stronger. Our bot lane aren't doing too great, so while we can't get dragons, we can get Rift Herald. It's, if the enemy team is doing something on one side of the map, you always want to counter on the other side. There's always something you can do. The enemy team can't be everywhere at once. They can't control everything at once. Look, and look how quick Evelyn takes this Rift Herald alone. Looks like Nasus already has his top turret. I'm actually going to go and see if we can take out this Quinn and then drop the Rift Herald to get even more turrets. The quicker Nasus can get out of top lane, the quicker we uh, destroy the map. Unfortunately, she's got, she's got a control ward in this bush. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take these. So, see if we get an opportunity to use it. It doesn't look like it. I really wanted to use my ult here, but um, let's go ahead and get our boots and a second control ward, why not? Nasus probably has a ton of gold now, our jungle's back up, let's get back to farming. Or actually, let's try and look for a kill here. Two people, like, this Lucian's out of mana, he's low on health, he's pushed up in the bot lane. They just saw me top, so they're probably- he's probably thinking he's kind of safe. I'm gonna sneak up in the lane. Try, I'm gonna try and catch him backing here. Since they, they don't have control wards in any of these bushes, we might be able to get him if we're lucky. Oh! Oh, that was a close one right there. I did miss my cue there, unfortunately. Oh fuck, I should have kept going backwards, I think. Looks like we're fine. Valkos isn't gonna catch us. We did get very lucky there by dodging a turret shot with our ult. You can do that, you can dodge turret shots with uh, Evelyn's ult. I also, I didn't wait for the charm to fully charge up because I knew Lucian was gonna see it and then immediately try and, like, move away. So I proc the charm as soon as I can. I did. I missed a couple of abilities, but we still managed to g get the kill thanks partly to our... Um, I mean, mostly to our ult, actually. Our ult did a, a very good job of saving us there. Okay, looks like Lucian's back. I think I might go bot again. Our top... Top side is up, but we might be able to get more kills here. Our ult's up in uh, 20 seconds again. We're relatively healthy. Fiddle Six is coming down. We can come for a ga counter gank here. Oh, but they've somehow already died. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna stick around here. Alright, I used my rocket belt to go ahead and proc the charm there. The cooldown's quite uh, low on rocket belt. I didn't realize it was this low. But we still have our ult, so I'm actually going to stick around. There are only control wards about, which is fantastic for us. Now, Valkos is going to expect us not here. So, just like that, it's another kill. So, what should we build second here? Now, if I actually kept the Dark Seal, Magi's would have been a fantastic second uh, item. If we take a look at the enemy team, that since they're all very squishy, I don't think I have to really worry about um, like uh, items like Shadow Flame or Void Staff. I think I might just go straight for a Rabadons. Especially because the unique passive for Rocky Bell is it gives each legendary item five magic penetration. So we're not going to need much magic penetration if... Um... Okay, I've forgotten to use the Herald here. That's my bad. You do, have, you do have to keep an eye on that. That's not, that's not just me, a lot of low elo players forget to uh, use their Herald. But I'm gonna go ahead and support it here. After I get this blue buff. We should, 
Yeah, we should get this turret. If we're lucky, we might be able to get... Um, okay, I guess we're not going to get that turret. <laughs> I thought we would. We have a lot of gold, but dragon's coming up in 15 seconds. We do want to secure it. Our ult's up, rocket belt's up, smite's about to be up. We do have two control wards. It's okay, we take a bit of damage. Okay. They really went for me there. We had the Velko's ult, the Fiddlesticks ult. I ulted the wrong way, unfortunately. But it looks like for my death, we're gonna get three kills here. So they definitely overcommitted to that. They were so desperate for me that they ended up dying. Since we're relatively far ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and build a Rabadons. We're gonna get that um, extra five magic penetration when we build it, thanks to Rocket Belt. I should have got away there if I altered the right way. Unfortunately, I didn't. It happens. We all make mistakes, but we're still gonna get this dragon, it looks like. So if we look, take a look at our Nasus here, he's five and zero. That's that's all because of the those first two ganks where we got him two kills up. Now Nasus is he's in a position to like carry the game for us. And that's the, the important thing about being a jungler is you don't always have to be the one to carry the game. A lot of your job is enabling your teammates to, to carry for you. I mean, even at this point, he's an unstoppable force. He's only going to keep scaling. You know, you know Nasus. It's important to identify your win conditions for the game. Are you going to be the one to carry? Um, is one of your laners going to be the one to carry? Which lanes are ahead? Which are behind? Looks like there's a lot happening in the bot lane. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lane minions since, you know, it's extra XP, extra gold, might as well take it. I do really want to go to the bot lane. So it looks like our bot lane are backing, okay. Looks like they're gonna grab that bottom turret, which we should let them have at this point. Right, I think after this we're gonna back and head, head bot. Actually, I really need like an extra 100 gold. So, a hundred, actually, 100 more gold and I can get a second large rod. Nasus is just disconnected, which is not good. I'm gonna clear this top wave and then head bot straight away. I don't really know what's that, that Sindra's probably gonna die. All right, we have enough for a second large rod. We're gonna head straight to bot. Hopefully, Nasus comes back. That'd be very rough for us if the guy <laughs> carrying our team is um, gone. <laughs> All right, rocket belts up, alts up. Let's look for a kill here. A lot of people still in the bot lane. Also, we've got control wards we can use. I think I want to get behind them. Okay. This can be very dangerous here. I'll go for the Lucian, I think. Right, we're gonna ult backwards and rocket belt out to stay alive. That's unfortunate we couldn't kill him with our ult. But that's another strength of Rocket Belt. You can use it to get out of a tight pinch. That's rough. We're gonna back off, heal up, come back. Fortunately, Braum's looking kinda low. Ult's up in 30 seconds. We do have to be a little careful, but we're just gonna clear waves at this tower until someone else shows up. I mean, they're not, they're not really accomplishing anything here. I'm gonna let Syndra grab that. Nasus is still gone, which is... Okay, Nasus is back. Thank God. <laughs> Alright. Blue buff's coming up. Let's try clear our jungle as quick as we can. I guess Nasus is just having connection problems. 
Now we don't we don't see anyone on the map. Where could they be? They could be on Baron. Quinn's just showing up on the top side. We hit, we have no vision in the t on the the top top river, so they could be on Baron right now. Yep, it looks like they're getting ready to do it. So I'm gonna make my way there. I'm gonna skip the rest of my jungle because we wanna we wanna stop this Baron right now. Nasus is here. All right, let's go for it. We got, we got Quinn to flash just by using our charm. I'm gonna heal up. And now this Baron is ours. That's a fantastic steal from us. Right, Dragon's up in 30 seconds. We'll take that as well. We have enough for our Rabadons. We could back and buy it really quick, but I'm gonna stick around, I think. Let's just secure this dragon. But the tides are turning. Oh Looks like when our Nasus uh, disconnected, had a little bit of a scare there. Let's take the blue buff. This is our blue buff. If you ever have an opportunity to take enemy jungle camps, you want to do exactly that. I'm going to hang on to my charm, just in case one of them tries to walk up, I can just charm him to scare them away. But we should have this. Alright, now let's go let's go get our Rabadons. Okay, the enemy team has just surrendered there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to highlight too much about um, Rocket Belt there. So unfortunately, I didn't get to highlight uh, Rocket Belt too much there. Which was a shame, since um, this is what I wanted to focus on. But we absolutely destroyed them, just thanks to those first two ganks on um, the top lane. Nas Once Nasus was ahead, he was crushing everyone. If we take a look at the score here, despite our bot lane being relatively behind, uh, me, the top lane, I, I guess Syndra as well, Syndra did, did work, uh, really helped carry that game there. Yeah, while that was a relatively short game, I hope it highlights that you don't have to build the same items um, every single game. Um, I didn't get to highlight too much uh, the power of Rocket Belt and what it provides um, since the game was so short. But we also, we didn't use the Dark Seal that game either. We bought it, ended up selling it because we died once, um, and we went straight into a Rabadons instead. Um, so I do hope that just shows you that you can use different items, you can use different runes, there's every single game is going to be different. And again, if you guys have any questions, any comments, you know, all feedback is appreciated. It's been a while since I've really got back into making videos as well as just playing League of Legends a lot. I've been playing it off and on for a while. So the feedback you guys give me is, is truly appreciated. But um, I hope you enjoyed and, um, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.